How you doing everyone? It is Kevin here back with another video. Um, today we're going to be working on a antenna tower swivel. Uh, if you watched the video a while back where I put the antenna up on the barn dominium, uh, this is the, I'm going to build that swivel piece to be able to put your antenna up and down pretty much by yourself. So uh, hopefully this will be a pretty good video and we're going to show you everything we need uh, for this project. The first thing you need is a piece of tower. Uh, this is going to be the base of our tower and if, I don't know if you can see that these are all different sizes. Uh, when they took this tower down I think they just cut it off any way they could and dropped it on the ground. So we're going to be uh, straightening up each one of these ends to make sure it's nice and um, uh, level. And uh, so that'd be your first thing. You're going to need antenna tower. And these things are not really easy to get a hold of anymore. It don't seem like a lot of people are using them. But you can look around and find them every once in a while. You can find them. Somebody will be getting rid of them. And, uh, you know, if you can get one, uh, definitely get it because they're worth it. Uh, and then you're going to need, um, this is a piece of roof bolt. And uh, let me get a... Let me get a tape measure here. Okay, this roof bolt is, we need this roof bolt as part of our uh, hinge. Looks to be about 9 sixteenths of an inch. And then we're going to need some black iron pipe. Now this is half inch black iron pipe. And uh, that roof bolt at uh, 9 sixteenths will fit just inside of this. If you slide that in there, that's going to make us a nice hinge, a heavy duty hinge. To be able to get this tower up and down so i think the tower plate which is this piece on the bottom here is going to be about 14 and a half or 15 uh, somewhere around there uh, and it's quarter inch thick so we're going to be welding all this together and making our swivel you're going to need uh, four all thread bolts i'm just using a half inch all thread bolt this is more than enough uh, to keep this tower up um, then you'll need all of your bolts. You'll need four lock washers, uh, eight uh, bolts, and eight uh, big washers. And then a couple pins uh, for your hinge on both sides of your hinge. And then uh, you're going to need some solid stock. This is, uh, and this goes inside the tower inside of here. And that's going to be to attach the tower to this plate. And this looks to be about one inch stock. Uh, and they're about uh, five and a quarter. You know, this could vary. You could go four inches, but this is what I had laying around. So that's what we're using. So I don't believe there's a whole lot more to this that we need. This plate is uh, a little bigger than we need. So we're going to be cutting it up first and getting the size that we need for our plate and then we're going to cut up a couple more pieces off of this and that's going to be part of the swivel part so you just have to kind of bear with me and go with the flow and watch it till the end and you'll see how this thing will work so uh, first thing we're going to do is get this plate out and get it cut up to the right size all right we have our base plate uh, marked out this is what will mount the whole thing to the ground and then we have approximately three inch wide strip going around this. Now we're going to be using these pieces. They're part of the whole thing. We need these two. So we're going to keep these. They're approximately three inches. Now you don't need three. Two and a half would work fine. This is what I got left over on this piece of metal. So we're just going to use it. Uh, two and a half inch uh, piece would be fine. But you'll see what these go to. They'll, one will come down this way and one will go this way. And that will make part of our hinge. So we're going to go ahead and get this piece cut out. And we're just going to use a 4 inch grinder and cut this out.
Okay, we have our 14 and a half by 14 and a half metal plate. Now, over here we have our extra pieces that we cut off this. Now, we're going to be using these two too. We need them too, but right now we're going to work on this piece. We need to drill four holes, one in each corner, and we're going to use them uh, for our uh, all thread to go in the ground. And we want these in all the corners. So I'm just going to mark these out where they need to go. And these are going to be a half inch hole. And we're going to go ahead and get them all drilled out. And we're, we don't have to be perfect on this. We're going to get them as close as we can and get them drilled. So we'll mark all four of them just like that. And center punch them and get them drilled. Let's head to the drill press. Okay, all of our holes have already been drilled in 5 sixteenths. Now we put a half inch drill bit in there and we're going to drill them all in half inch now. Now when you get your plate back over to the table, make sure your half inch dowel fits in the hole nice. You want to make sure your uh, dowel fits in there really nice because you don't want to have to re-drill this once you get it together. So our holes are all perfect half inch holes. Now we're going to start laying out the plate that we're going to build the hinge out of. Alright, I have my two plates laid out here where I want to cut them. And I'm going to give you the width of these, and it's about three inches wide. They're both about three inches wide. And uh, the one down here on the bottom, which is part of your hinge, is going to be about 13 and 3 eighths. And then this one from here to there is going to be about 9 and 3 quarter. Now, this uh, may vary on uh, what with metal you have down here so you know if this is going to be smaller uh, if you went with a two and a half inch you're going to have to add another half inch to this piece here along so keep that in mind when you're building this thing if you're not using this in three inch you're going to have to add on to this one uh, but what i want to do is i want to keep my hinge away from these bolts a little bit you know we want to be able to hinge it and uh, we'll do our best here to figure that out, and, but we're going to go ahead and get these two pieces cut. Now, the extra piece down here, we're going to need this piece. It's going to be part of the hinge too, so we got to have to keep that. So we'll go ahead and cut these off, and then we'll work on our two little plates here that our dowel will go through to hinge this.
Alright, our plates are laid out here now and I got a couple of these magnetic uh, angle uh, braces to keep it straight and we have it centered up and like I said whatever width metal you have you want to make sure you get this centered up. It's not a hard thing to do but got to do it. So we're going to go ahead and weld these two together and then we'll keep going with our hinge. Okay, we have our first uh, part of our hinge built. So now we gotta get our, uh, this is our half inch iron pipe. We're gonna lay that over on top of this. And I'm gonna get this as almost exact, as close as I can, to the length of the back side of this. So I'm gonna just lay it on top of there and make a mark. And then I'm going to take it to my saw over there, and I am going to cut this bad boy off. Let's go to the saw. We want to get this as close as we can to being exactly what that bought back plate is. Close or a little bigger still wouldn't hurt. Okay, one thing I like about using this machine is it cuts it pretty straight. All right, as you can see, I have this thing set up here, and I got a couple magnets here, and what I'm doing is I want to keep this uh, piece of pipe uh, flush with the back of this piece right here. I want to keep it flush. So I got a magnet back here holding it in a 90, a magnet here holding it in a 90, and then two of these resting everything up against. So we're going to go ahead and tack this, and then we can get this welded on. Now the nice thing about just tacking it is we can take the magnets back off now, get rid of our magnets, and look it over real good and make sure it's exactly where we want it to be when we flip it over. And I think this is going to work out really, really good. So we'll go ahead and turn it over and finish welding the rest of it. All right, our plate is all welded up. We're just gonna clean it off a little bit and we're gonna line it up for the other part of the hinge. Okay, this is a plate that we had cut off the main plate on the bottom. We're going to be using it too. It's about an inch and an eighth wide, and we're going to be cutting about an inch and three eighths P 
pieces. So we need a couple pieces of this, inch and three-eighths. So we'll go ahead and get these cut. <clears throat> All right, we have our two little pieces together here. I clamped them. I'm gonna go ahead and weld those two together. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna drill them out. I wanna make sure they're both exactly the same. So if I just put a little tack here and a little tack on the other side, drill them out and then grind it off, they're going to be identically the same. See, we just tacked that side, tacked the other side. Now we can drop these, take them to the grinder, or take them to the drill, drill them out, and then grind that off, and I know that they're going to be identically the same. Okay, we have our hole drilled in there. Now these things are still welded together. We haven't ground them off yet, but when we do, we'll have two pieces identically the same. And they fit our dowel which we're using what they call a roof bolt. This is something they would use in a coal mine years and years ago. I think they still may use them now, I don't know. But uh, it fits our hole, perfect. We want it just a tad bit loose, not too loose, just enough we can move it around. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this rod off an eighth inch wider than our base. It's only an eighth inch wider, but we'll be drilling two holes in here and then the two pins will be what goes in these two sides. So let's get this cut off and get the two holes drilled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to ground the weld off of this and this and then we'll have two pieces again. Now we have two pieces identically the same. That's going to make our hinge piece that mounts to the plate. So these guys now, what we have to do is we'll slide these in here, one on this side. We'll do one on this side. We'll drill a hole through here and drill a hole through here, but we got to put them on that 
part of the other part of the hinge that goes on here to make sure we don't drill them too close. So what we'll do, is send this guy through this uh, the other side. Put that one in there. Then we're gonna see. I think we're almost. I mean, we're like perfect. I think. I think we're perfect. I think we could go ahead and drill these two holes just right on them two flat areas and I think it'll be perfect. I, I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and drill the two holes the size of our pin to make sure the pin goes through here. And that's going to hold our hinge in there. Now see if we ever needed to take this completely apart, we could just by beating this pin out. We could take the clips out of it, knock it through, Take. we'll have one bolt up here. Once we unbolt that, you'll all be able to lower the uh, tower down on the ground. And if you want this part off, you could just beat the two pins or take the two pins out and beat that rod through. So let's go get this thing drilled out. I think we're in good shape. That's going to fit in there just fine. All right, I think we're about ready to weld this guy on here. We just want to make sure it's not cockeyed on here. And then uh, we have a little bit of work to do up on this side. Uh, there's going to be another bolt up here that has to be put in. And then we'll put a spacer underneath of this to hold this thing up level so it's nice and level. But I think we can go ahead and weld these two tabs on. And uh, it should be set up pretty good. We're going to put a couple washers in here just to kind of give it a little bit more space in there. Because we don't want that to be tight on here. We can always take them spacers out of there, the washers. But when we weld it, we want to make sure that it's not too tight. We don't want it to be too tight. So we could always take one of these out or both of them and it's setting pretty good. So 
let's get the welding these tabs on. I wanted to give you a little better look of how we set this up. So we have our little hinge bracket right there that's going to weld to the bottom plate. Our black iron pipe goes through here. We have a pin through it, two pins on each side. I used a washer on this and a washer over here. Slid them together kind of against the washers. And if we ever needed space, we could always take that washer out. But it's nice not to have that dragon. So, lined it up as best I can, uh, spaced it out on there, and now we're going to weld it into place. All right, I um, put this back on, flipped the hinge around to the back side, because so, we got to work on this side. And I don't know if you remember there, when we cut that back uh, hinge piece, that piece of iron, black iron pipe, it's exactly what I need for this side here. I need an inch and a sixteenth. What I did as I measured down, I put this up. It's, as level as I could, measured that down back there, and it was an inch and three sixteenths. And this little piece is an inch and three sixteenths. So this will make for a nice spacer where we need to uh, put a bolt in here. And this bolt is what's going to secure this thing down, so you know it doesn't move. You can have one bolt in the center. You'll be able to pull this bolt out and put your tower down. So we're going to go ahead and get this one drilled out and. Uh, because we got to weld a nut on the back side of this and get us a bolt for this. I think uh, this is working out really nice. It's turned out really nice. So let's get to drilling our hole in here. We still have to put our tower uh, blocks on, which we're probably going to set somewhere in here somewhere. One here, one here, and one here. But uh, let's get this bolt put in the center of this. So we'll have the bottom hinge part all finished. Uh, this is really looking good. Uh, somebody's going to get a really nice antenna swivel, tower swivel. All right, we have our hole drilled through this plate and this plate. And when we drilled it, we drilled it right through that spacer. That way we get a good straight uh, hole. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our bolt in here. And we're going to tighten this guy up. Because what we want to do is we want to weld the nut on the bottom. Then we want to weld this spacer. Uh, that way everything is in line so we know that it's going to open and close when we unbolt this bolt. Now we know this is nice and tight. So now we can flip it over. And we can weld this nut on here because we don't want, ever want this nut to come off. Uh, so it's going to make it a lot easier just pulling that bolt in and out. We'll put some anti-seize on this. And we're going to weld this a little uh, 
spacer, the little spacer, we're going to weld it right to this too. So let's get this welded up. All right, now that we have our um, plate, our hinge, almost, uh, pretty much almost finished, we're going to focus on the tower itself now and try to get these cut off uh, nice and straight. Now that we got our tower cut off, we're going to go ahead and take our stock and we're going to put it inside each one of these and we're going to drill a hole uh, through all the way through and put a quarter inch bolt through them. We're going to let that stick out about, I'm going to let it stick out about an inch, leave these stick out about an inch. I'll give you room to weld down in there. Okay, as you can see, we have it uh, setting on top of the top part of the hinge. This is the T-bracket that we built. Uh, so now we're just going to weld uh, these on here. I just centered them up uh, by eye. Uh, this is not something that has to be perfect uh, because, of course, anything height-wise, say you got one a little bit longer, you're going to be able to adjust it with the bolts that go in the ground. So it's not really a big deal. Just want to get them as close as you can. But uh, this is ready to go. We're going to go ahead and weld these on. Okay, the only thing left to do is we know we have to bend these all thread bolts. We have to bend them, that's not a big deal. I'd like to clean this up a little bit and maybe get some primer and a little bit of paint on it just to kind of seal it up. All right, we're going to work on uh, bending our all thread. We're going to use a little bit of map gas here. We're going to do about four inches, heat it up, bend it. Don't even have to go that. We'll do about three inches.
So our swivel is done. It's painted. Just going to get it all put back together and uh, get it out of here. So we're just going to put everything back on it. Okay, our antenna swivel base is finished, and I think it turned out really nice. Uh, this is actually ready to go into the ground. Um, heavy built, quarter inch steel. I think this will work for just about anybody. Nice heavy bolts. I think it's pretty nice. Okay, our tower uh, hinge is finished, swivel, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you want to see how one of these work, I'll leave a uh, I'll leave a little tag up here, and you can click on that tag, or at the end of the screen, right where I'm sitting here, should be a video you could click on and watch how one of these work. Uh, I put one of these on the Barnuminium. I actually had it at my other homestead. Bring it along with me. And put it over here at the Rusty Rooster. So I'll leave that link, that video up there, and at the end it'll be right here. So uh, you can see how these work. And this really makes it nice when you got to pull your antenna down and work on the wires or the antenna itself. It sure does make it a lot nicer. So I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.